Scott says, what things should someone with shares held in their own name in two plus companies and who is considering transferring those shares to an SMSF in the future take into account to obtain the best long term after tax result from such a procedure? There were, Scott, uh, discussions about not being able to transfer non-listed securities into superannuation. I think it's still available. That, as, that is, if you've got a listed security, you still are able to transfer those share, shares off market into your self-managed superannuation fund. If you can't do it off market, you've got to effectively sell the asset, liquidate the cash, put the money into your super fund, and then uh, buy the asset again. So the question then is, well, do I just buy other assets or do I buy those exact assets, exact assets as well? But the bigger question is around the capital gains tax. If there's a, is the, Regardless of whether you transfer the assets into your super, super fund or you sell the asset and transfer the cash in, it triggers the capital gains tax regardless of those two scenarios. So you need to factor in the capital gain under either either of those two scenarios and managing. So you might be able to sell a small amount of shares uh, depending on the value of the stocks over several years or if it's not going to if you've got low taxable incomes you just you know potentially sell shares up to the threshold to get it into the superannuation